MLB Network is your exclusive home for postseason baseball. It's game one of the World Series between the American League's Houston Astros and the Miami Marlins. Hi again, everybody. Matt Vaskersian. Welcome to the World Series here on MLB Network. With me is Harold Reynolds and Dan Plezak. And Dan, we'll start with you. This series has the feel of one that's about to get very interesting. Well, here's a little comparison of these two teams. Looking at it earlier, to me, the story is all about the pitching. Both squads have some good arms, and the team that gets the best outings are probably going to come out on top. It's the moment these players have been waiting for. Game one of the Fall Classic is on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Back now live as we count down to the start of game one. Let's join public address announcer Mike Carlucci. And now, your Miami Marlins. Briefly now, we'll look at the two starters who get the ball here in game one. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? Well, you really have to appreciate what Jose Altuve brings to this team. This is the guy you want at the plate when the game is on the line. He thrives in these situations. It's almost like he goes to bed and says, I can't wait to play because the game is going to come down to me and I'm going to make something happen. He thrives. So a runner aboard at second here with one away. And striding in the speedy second baseman, Jose Altuve. Full count here. Here comes the pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. On the move is Stanton. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. And with two away here in game one of the World Series, let's give you a little refresher course at the roads these two teams took to get where they are tonight. Come on, big guy, get your pitch right here. Leading off for the Marlins. Center fielder, number 87. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. Hey, let her rip one time. Now, this is chopped foul at home plate. It's 0-1. Ball one. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Woody Keller. Well, Matt, Woody used the call is a pretty nice game back there. there Although consistency on, has been an issue brought up with him in the past. We'll see if it comes into play. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. I ran that one in on him a bit as this time it's tapped foul at home plate. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. There's a swing and a high drive into left center field. Vasquez ranging back. Oh, and this kicks right off of him. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. And he'll make it into third base with a leadoff triple. Every center fielder dreads this kind of a play, right? The ball's hit right at him and over his head. He turns and runs, leaps for it, but just can't make the play. It ends up coming off the wall, and by the time he can get the ball back in, it was a guaranteed triple. Batting fifth, first baseman, Anthony Rizzo. A runner in scoring position with none out. Oh, and Rizzo. 
Rizzo gets on top of one and sends it in the air out to deep right field. Gone all the way into the upper deck. A two-run shot off the bat of Anthony Rizzo. His first homer so far in the series as the Marlins have rallied back to tie it at two apiece. Well, there she goes, the first home run of the World Series. I was kind of waiting to see when this might happen. You knew we had great offenses, but we're off to a grand start. First game, we got one homer at least. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Number 87, he'll hit from the left side of the plate in this matchup. First pitch on its way. In the dirt here. Nobody out, runner on first. He pulls this one into right, and that'll get down for a base hit. Got a way to square up on that ball. Great job. You can relate, Dan. So what's going through the pitcher's mind right now? Well, Matt, as we take a look at his line here, he might not know all the specifics, but he knows he hasn't been pitching all that well in this one. Sometimes it happens. You start a game and never completely get into that rhythm. Seems First to be the case here. 44. Digging in to try it again, Rizzo. Anthony Rizzo. And remember, he hit that two-run homer his first time up. Smoke toward third. Reined in. Altuve for one. On to first, a double play. Oh, that's a rally killer right there. They were in great shape with two on and nobody out, but the double play is the last thing you want in that situation. Just a runner at third now, but there's two outs. Ready for another chance? Jorge Alfaro, and he's likely just trying to put one in play here. 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts thus far. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Pitch swung on and hit in the air. Number 87. It see if they test it. And they will tag him out at the plate. And that'll keep our ball game tied up as the inning is over. So it's a run on three hits, no errors, and two men left on. On now to the bottom half of inning number four, and we are tied 4-4. Four, four. Striding in once again, number 87. Two for two with a triple on his batting line to this point. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Ball. ball two. Well, here's a guy we know is swinging it pretty well at the plate lately, and based on those last two pitches, I think I know why. He's doing a great job of putting himself at counts where he's likely to be successful. And this will ricochet off of him on the mound. And they are able to get the out at first, but more importantly, let's hope he's okay on the mound. Here's the second baseman, Jose Altuve. Two for three with a double on his line so far. Altuve. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one-two. High in the air out to center field. Under it is the center fielder. And he makes the catch for the second out. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to. Here's Corey Seager. He's working on a three hit ball game right now. Three runs already home here. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Racing back to center fielder. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. 
So a three-run shot to right center field, his first homer here in the series, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, sometimes runs come in bunches, and that's definitely the case in this inning. That's three, count them, three home runs in this frame alone, four for the game. Did someone throw a home run derby? They didn't. Ready once again, number, number, 87. number 87, two for three for him so far, including a triple. Into the windup and the pitch. Line drive to left. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he is in the second with a double, his third hit of the night. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Ready for another shot now, Anthony Rizzo. He was retired via the ground ball last time out. Rizzo. The 0-1 on its way. On the ground toward the hole, and it's through. A base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third, so they're runners at the corners now with one away. Well, that's a perfect example of taking a ball inside out. You know, you hear that terminology, stay inside the ball right there. He took a ball inside and shot it the other way for the base hit. So stepping in, number 24. He's working on a one for three thus far. Fastball, strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Well, at the plate, he kind of got bailed out on that previous pitch. I think it should have been a strike. Then he goes down looking, and you really can't feel too sorry for him. Not a lot of protecting with two strikes there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mark Valaika. And we'll see what he can do here. Two on, two away, two home so far this inning. Now a flare out toward right center. Altuve onto the grass. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. We're on to the ninth here in game one. Astros lead this one 10-6. Now the famous neon of Ocean Drive in Miami Beach. Welcome back to baseball, Mona. Yeah, this game was decided in the eighth. That was a huge offensive fireworks coming into the eighth inning. And when the other guys put up a big inning like that against you late in the game, it's really tough to make any kind of a comeback. And, fellas, when you're on the big stage here at the World Series, you want to make sure you bring the A game. And this man right here certainly did. He's our tops player of the game. And, Matty, I think you're absolutely right. Some guys just seem to thrive under the bright lights of the World Series while other guys fade into the background. He was brilliant in this one, and this is some well-earned recognition. 10-6, to six, the final score in this game. The Astros win the World Series opener and take a 1-0 lead. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network.